Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we look at how we can scan for open ports using Kali Linux. And we'll be running the commands on uh, the terminal. I'm um, gonna open the terminal here. And the tool we're gonna be using to do the scan is Nmap. And let's go ahead and see the command that we'll use to scan for open ports. The command is Nmap-V. So the first option we use is dash V for verbose, which tells the command to display everything that's going on in the background on the on the screen for us. Then we use the option dash P. This one we use to specify the ports we want to scan. In this case, we'll scan for all TCP ports. So that will be 655 0 to 65535. Next option is dash A, capital A. In this case, uh, we want to scan not only for open ports, but also we want to do a, additional uh, inspections or scans, such as for the type of operating system, the services running, and so on. So the dash A gives us that option. Next thing we'll do here, we'll specify the IP address of the target machine, and we want to make sure that it's reachable here. So in this case, I'm going to put the IP. 172.16.1.102 and finally I want to get the output displayed not only on the screen but also saved onto our files now the dash o is says output the dash a here says all file formats so we'll get three different files with, uh, that are three different types as the output and let's name the file where this is going to be output to it's going to be test scan and then we'll press enter. Now one, one thing to take note of is that the dash A, because it's scanning for so many things, it might take a while to finish the scan. And for that reason, there is also another option that's faster. So there's another variation of this scan. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, see what that option is. What I'm gonna do, since this one's gonna take quite a while, I'm gonna end this one. I'm gonna do control C to end it. Then we'll see the other option. So let me do Control C, and that ended the scan that was still ongoing. Let's see the other option that should be a little quicker. And that one also uses the same command. We just add one option to it, and the command is nmap uh, dash v dash v for verbose. And in this case, I'm going to add dash t. This is the one that allows us to specify that we want the scan to run much faster. What it does in this case is that Nmap is gonna send the scan packets and it's only gonna wait for a limited amount of time for response before it moves on, so it doesn't wait for too long. So you can specify a number between one and five. So one is a little slower, but five is the fastest as far as the scan or the quickest. So we we'll use five there. And then we'll repeat the commands we had previously. So we'll specify the port numbers to scan. So all TCP ports, dash A for additional scanning other than open ports. And then the target IP address. And then we want to specify the output file here. Press enter. This one should, should be quicker. So let's wait for this one and see if it's gonna finish much faster. So as you can see at this point, it's saying that it's scanning for all this port, all these ports. And there's discovered some ports here, 139, 3389, 445, 135. And it will also tell you how much time, it also tells us how much time is left here. So it, it did complete the connect scan. Now it's doing the service scan. It found 13 services. So it's scanning for those services. So as you can see, it's still taking more time because in addition to discovering the open ports, it's also trying to discover the services as well. So I'm gonna pause this one briefly and then I'll come back once it's done. Okay, so it's done here. It took about two minutes to complete the service scan. If we can scroll back up, here's where it, it told us what amount of time it's gonna take roughly. 
Then once it was done with the service scan, it did the script scanning, which was a little faster. And that's it, it's done. And it's displayed most of the results on the screen here. Now, like I said, the output also was saved onto files and we can see what files we got here. We'll do less. And these are the different files we have, .gnmap, .nmap, and then XML, .xml. Now we can save uh, those files onto the own directory. We can just make a directory here and call it uh, test output. And then we can move this test scan files to this directory. So let's see what files we got. So I moved the files that we got, the output files to this directory called test output. So let's cd to test output ls. And here are the three files. And you can use cut command to view the files. So let's view disk scan and what. Um, as you can see, this is the same output we saw on the screen earlier. Uh, let's try and view the XML file. Test on XML. And that's, that's the contents of it. So that's all for this video. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.